Allen Stevenson here for City Life TV, and this is my friend Lucy, and we are at the third annual Lawyers Polo Tournament. Let's go check it out. This is the third annual Lawyers Polo Tournament. How did this whole thing come to life? Well, it uh, all started with uh, maybe one or two glasses of champagne, too many, uh, with my friend Eduardo Baratribe, who's uh, we worked together many years uh, at Nobu in New York City. And we were saying, well, wouldn't it be fun if we could get a, a, a combine the things we like to do, polo, uh, having some great parties, and and hanging out with our lawyer friends from around the world. And they said, well, why don't we just start this up? And first one was in Buenos Aires, and uh, last year we were in Madrid, Spain, and now we're here in Toronto. Next year it's in, uh, going to be in Dubai, so it's uh, just growing, really fantastic. How many people has it garnered over the years? Well, usually we get we have uh, an attendance of uh, 250 to 300, um, but it's funny that you, you ask that because people are coming from all over the world, as far as Australia uh, and uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina, from Mumbai, uh, India, um, from uh, Slovakia, um, from France. It's been it's been incredible in terms of the people who are following this from Washington, uh, all over the world have come to play polo with us. Now, where are the funds going to for this event? Uh, the funds are, uh, are going to two, two causes. The first one, which is near and dear to my heart as uh, an honorary colonel uh, of the armed forces, is to True Patriot Love, which is an organization which is d designed and, and is there to help families coming back from Afghanistan. And the second part of the funds is going to Polo Canada. We're trying to raise money for um, our new young team that's going to be competing in the World Championships uh, here in Toronto, actually, next uh, summer in 2011. Can you give me a little play-by-play -play of the events that are going to happen here today? Well, we have three exciting games. Um, each team has at least uh, two professionals or two highly rated players mixed in with, uh, with the lawyers. The ball is moving really quickly. Um, the exciting part of it is, is that uh, both, all the teams are evenly matched. So it'll be three games and then after the games are over we're going to have a, uh, a really great Argentina Sado and um, it's going to be, that's going to be really fun. Lots of prizes and uh, we have a wonderful wine and beer sponsors so that's going to be, I think that's going to be consumed on this lovely day. Finally, where did your passion for polo come from? The passion for polo uh, came from one day, I, about 17 years ago, I got on a horse and I hit the ball and heard the, the sound of the ball hitting the mallet. And once, you, once that happens and then you, you feel the rush of the speed of the horses and, and the contact and, and the excitement, it just gets in your blood and as soon as we stop playing the game we want to play the next another one it's uh, and the other thing about polo passionate about polo is it's it's the horses uh, the training it's the preparation and it's and it's the, the spirit of friendship that we have like there it's quite amazing you know Winston Churchill uh, like one of the great leaders of our time said all you need in this world is a passport and a polo handicap and and I've uh, seen that all, all through my life and certainly as an example with this tournament is bringing people from all around the world in fellowship and friendship and that's been you know that's part of the amazing thing about polo. From Buenos Aires to Spain and now Toronto the Lawyers Polo Tournament is spreading across the globe and next year it's in Dubai. If you want more information the address is lawyerspolo.com. For City Life TV I'm Madeline Stevenson. Hi I'm Justin Fogarty with Davis LLP and you're watching City Life TV.